Okay, so we know our routing configuration works. Let's go and set up these links in our navbar so we can click on the links and be taken to those components. So we'll open up the nav component HTML. And what we want to do in here is replace these hrefs with router links so that our Angular router takes over navigating us to specific components. So the first one, the navbar brand, what we'll do is we'll use router link and then we'll set this equal to just a forward slash in this case. And this is going to take us to our home component. What we'll do in the matches one, we'll remove the href and we'll specify router link equals forward slash and we used members as the root for this one. The forward slash is essential. And if you miss this off, you'll see why later as you'll not go to what's considered to be a relative root, you'll keep chaining on additional roots in addition to this. So we need the forward slash inside here. And what we'll also do is add a router link equal to forward slash lists to take us to the lists. And then we'll do the same for the messages as well. And say forward slash and messages. And if we go and take a look at the effects of what we've done here, and then we'll click on matches, we go to our member list, we click on lists, we go to our lists, and messages, we go to our messages. And if we click on the home, then we go home. So all of our links are working, but it'd be kind of nice if we could highlight which link that somebody is currently on. It kind of works, but as soon as we click down into the page, then we lose the highlighting of which page we're actually on. So we've got a solution to that though, and let's go back to our code. And what we can do inside here is add a router link active property. Now the class of navlink, if I just demonstrate this and I specify active, as in we're given this an additional class of active and I go back and take a look at my browser, we can see that the matches is now active and enabled. But we want the router to be able to apply that class to our nav links when somebody routes to that location. So instead of hard coding it in here, what we can specify is the router link active property, and then we can set this equal to active. And we could do the same for each of the other links in here as well. And we'll say router link active and router link active. And we can do the same for the brand as well, even though that is already highlighted. Now, whenever we click on one of these links, it's going to apply this class to the A tag, the element that we're inside of. So let's go and take a look at how this looks. Well, we can see we're on the messages and that's highlighted. We go to lists and we go to matches and we can click around inside here and we no longer lose the active property. And like I say, the, the home, the navbar brand is already kind of active looking anyway. So that doesn't really make any difference. But now we have our active links highlighted in our navbar. Cool. What we'll take a look at next is how we can access the router inside our components.